Hi, this is Sandra, and welcome to episode 56 of Minutes of Torah. In my podcast last week, I talked about faith, and I want to continue that conversation. In last week's Torah portion, God instructs Noah to build an enormous ark. On faith and faith alone, Noah does as God has instructed, and he builds an enormous ark out of gopher wood. Now, keep in mind that no one knows what kind of wood that is. And so Noah builds this ark, even though he probably thought, this is a crazy idea. This week, we have another story about going out on faith. This week, we read in the Torah portion, Lech Lecha, which means to go forth or let's go. This is a story where God instructs Avram to leave the comfort of his home, everything he trusts, everything he knows, and God says, Lech Lecha, go forth from your native land and from your father's house to the land that I will show you. Think about it. Avram, with his wife Sarah in tow, leave everything and strike out into the unknown. And because Avram is willing to strike out into the unknown and embrace it fully, he will become a source of blessing for all. Like Noah, I think Avram probably thought this is a crazy idea. I'm sure he was scared. I'm sure Sarah was scared. And all of this reminds us that out of our own fears, insecurities, and uncertainty for the future, that faith can guide us. I know many of us may be uncomfortable with the word faith. So I'll just say to trust that inner voice. Trust that inner voice even when we think this is a crazy idea. Then later in the text, God tells Avram, I will establish my covenant between me and you, and I will make you exceedingly numerous. God changes Avram's name to Avraham and says, I will make you the father of a multitude of nations. Now, at this time, Avraham is 99 years old. He has no children with his wife, Sarah. He does have one child with his slave, Hagar, and God is telling him that he will have lots of offspring. Then God tells this 99, 99-year-old man that he will circumcise his foreskin as a sign of the covenant between Avraham and God. Avraham probably thought, this is nuts. This is a crazy idea. But Avraham put his trust in God. He had faith. And because of his faith, he became the father of a great nation. I think it's hard sometimes for people to understand doing things on faith, or they find it hard to listen to that inner voice. But we have to learn to trust that inner voice, to trust our gut. And as I said last week, faith is about courage, the courage to live with uncertainty, and the courage to trust in your gut and in your heart and in God that you are on the right path. Shabbat Shalom.